morning, Putt fam. Out here, uh, we got a really big job today for a new client. It's gonna pay out $898. We're gonna be doing the inside and outside windows and the solar panels. It's pretty much two houses on one property. Uh, we're gonna start with the inside. We're gonna do the skylights also, but it's a flat roof with easy access, so that should be no problem at all, and um, it should be a good day. All right, doing a huge job today, so I haven't got much footage. We finished up the inside and uh, about three hours flat and we're working on the screens right now we're gonna clean all these skylights on the neighboring building right here and this building as well as these solar panels and uh it's a big job so we're just making sure we don't miss anything being very detailed and um making pretty good time so this is my first time coming across some screens like this i've worked with screens that are similar in the past but none quite like this they were extremely flimsy and just me picking them up was making the frame fall apart so i did what i could i knocked all that dust loose as i usually do but i had to be extremely gentle and careful and then wiped the frame down and got all the dust and dirt out of there but with this sort of frame there was really so much only so much we could do and i just made the client aware of that oh man those screens were a pain in the ass they're so flimsy it was really annoying but uh for skylight cleaning i use this uh, glass cleaner and just a uh, couple towels. I feel like that does the best job. All right, that should be pretty good. I can see uh, a good amount of stuff right there on the inside, but I'm not sure if you can see that part down there. It's not worth trying to clean the inside of this one for uh, my company, so just told them that's the estimate and that we do the outside for free. All right, so to get up there and clean the skylights, I found a good access point from the second story. Could have went and grabbed our extension ladder, but we're already using this ladder, so it makes more sense to just find a good access point and use what we already have to save time and energy. So at the estimate, when I get asked to go on the roof or anything, I will usually look for an access point so that way I'm prepared ahead of time. Now when cleaning a skylight, there is a small pin right there. And all we're gonna do is pull it out and then pop this open and clean the inside and the outside from the roof. All right, water feds all set up. Definitely recommend getting a couple quick connects. If you do water feed a lot, it saves a ton of time. After that's run for 90 seconds, we can check our PPMs. 11, as long as it's below 15, we should be good, but I prefer it be at zero. Here we go, doing some water fed bolt work again. You notice I just like to always scrub down the frame really good, give it a little rinse, and then I just clean the top windows. Rinse, scrub rinse and then do the windows below that making sure i hit that frame really good above those lower windows as well then i like to go through and just give everything a good rinse over one last time now these windows are really ideal for a water fed pole because the frame isn't too big so i don't really have to worry about a bunch of dirt dripping onto the glass after i've already cleaned it and then once we finished with that we just moved on to cleaning the garage windows went ahead and just charged these at two dollars per pane so it came out to 32 dollars total and you'll see I'm just working my way across and down and then giving everything an extremely good rinse and it came out absolutely spotless. Alright, we're finally under the solar panels. It's 4 p.m. right now. I've been here since about 8. Oh, probably got started a little before 8.30, so we're about eight hours in I just finished the outside windows gonna go ahead and tackle these panels do the touch-ups and hopefully be out here by like 5 30 at the latest but man yeah we're just taking a little longer than we thought today Woo, man huh so that took uh pretty much exactly 10 hours no break Oh, no lunch. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm starving, dude. I'm ready to go eat. $898 inside and outside windows, screens, and solar panels. 
I want to say I underbid it by 75 bucks, which I know I did because I was just blanking out in my estimate and forgot to charge for the skylights I cleaned. But you know, no big deal. Very uh, one of my higher end clients, and they want to get um, on a six month schedule. So we averaged about $90 an hour. We made $8.98 today, 10 hour day. And um, it was a pretty good day. I uh, didn't run into any odd challenges or anything like that. Um, I did get a little annoyed when I was doing my touch-ups because I swear there's some types of glass that when you're touching it up or just no matter what you do to it, I'm wiping it with a towel and it's leaving like smear marks. It's the craziest thing ever. And I, I see it every now and again. There's just certain types of glass that are like, like I almost want to just say like impossible to get absolutely perfect, but the client seems happy. I always have the guarantee of if you're not fully satisfied, you're seeing something that was missed and you want me to come back, just give me a call. I won't hesitate at all to come show up and fix what we got going on. So I'm clocking out. I'm exhausted. We got another day tomorrow. I'm going to try to document for you guys. We pressure washing the outside of a house with a soft tip, no chemical, and doing a special request for one of our clients.